Okay, so here's a quick look at the voided uh, rain poncho. Uh, my one's in a kind of wetlands camo pattern, but they do do them in other colours. Uh, I actually chose the, the wetlands colour because I tend to stealth camp occasionally, and this is the sort of thing I would bring with me when I was doing that. Um, I like ponchos more than people realise, and there are two reasons why I'm really keen on ponchos. Um, the first one is that they tend to be big enough, like this one, where if it's raining, it will go over your pack as well and keep your pack dry. But also, you can tend to use them as an emergency shelter as well. Um, so this one has little brass eyelets uh, and poppers, so you can adjust both how much your arms are coming out, but also you can effectively run pea cord off of these poppers and turn this into a tent. Um, and in the blog review I'm gonna write, I'm actually gonna show you how to do that. Um, the other advantage I like over ponchos is because they're billowing and open at the bottom, you get a lot of airflow through without any rain coming in. And what that means is they don't tend to get as clammy as wearing a, a waterproof, breathable rain jacket. So if you're out all day in torrential rain, I actually think a poncho is the better call. And it means if you want to sit down and relax, you've got a poncho a bit around your bum to keep you dry. Um, but um, that's just my feeling. Um, from a features point of view, uh, it's really nicely designed this it's got her uh, a zip pouch kangaroo pouch on the front that, that the entire thing packs into but it's also got zip pockets on either side that you can put your hands in with these huge great big pockets as well to either keep your hands warm or to store quite a lot of stuff inside them which is kind of cool uh, it's got a hood that's oversized with a decent brim on it so it just keeps the rain off the front of your face and you've got this sort of one quarter zip up the top just to help you get your head in through the top and then through these fasteners, these poppers down the side here, you can adjust how much your arm is sticking out or how much it's billowing around, which is really, really cool as well. Um, the seams are all taped, as you'd expect for a waterproof jacket. Uh, it has the usual 10,000 plus waterproofiness rating. You don't really need to talk about breathability with this. It's a mute point with this fabric because you've got so much billowing air at the bottom, driving air through. So you tend to find you get a lot less clammy. Um, and that's about it. Um, I would say Voited also do a travel blanket that kind of is turns into something of a kind of poncho as well. So the only other thing that I don't think they make a big enough fuss about is that their travel blanket poncho for warmth and insulation fits really nicely underneath this. So what you get is a two phase setup where if it's cold it's keeping you warm but also from a sleeping point of view it's almost like you're in a small sleeping bag inside a bivy bag. Um, so if you are super lightweight, long distance hiker like I am, it's kind of a nice minimalist setup if you want the bare minimum possible to just roll two things out and pass out to sleep for a while, uh, or even sit leaning against something. So there you go. If you like what you see here, please like and subscribe. It makes a massive difference to my channel. And um, I'm going to put a link in the description below to a more in-depth blog about this uh, and a link to the lowest online price as well. But there you go. That's the voided uh, rain poncho.